I think about it every day. It doesn't go very far from your mind, that's for sure. But you try and, and put it aside and, and, you know, just live the best life you can. It was in 2016, and actually we were in Florida at the time with our, with our daughter and grandchildren and her husband. And I had got, developed a cough. I went into my doctor about March, said, come back and see me in three weeks if it isn't any better. So it didn't improve. So I went back in three weeks and he let me know that there was a problem. And he just got me into the, uh, the Oshawa Cancer Clinic immediately. I met Jennifer over three years ago. And at the time, she was diagnosed with an advanced lung cancer. It was one of those situations as a never smoker where it's a complete shock. And how can this possibly be happening? And, and why did this happen? We uh, did the initial testing. And a few years ago, we were still doing uh, single gene testing. And to a certain degree, we still are doing single gene testing. And she was negative on those initial tests. And uh, I had brought up the idea of uh, genomic profiling. So it was in about July that Dr. Rothenstein started talking about this genomic testing option. And he, and he explained that it would, it would guide him in his decisions about treatment plan, which uh, was very helpful, I think, to have, have that those options available. When I talk to patients and when I talked to Jennifer about the genomic profile, we spoke about this idea of having a toolbox or a toolkit and uh, wanting to use the, the right treatments at the right time during the course of treatment for her disease. So we actually started off with uh, chemotherapy. And the chemotherapy worked, and it took us to a, a certain point in her treatment. Um, but during the treatment, uh, we, we got that profile back, and uh, it gave us uh, information that she did, in fact, have a, an oncogenic driver. The nice thing was to have that uh, option in our back pocket so that we knew, okay, we're on a path, but we've got plan B covered. It's funny. I'm, I'm a control freak, and this is something that... I've had to live with. Is I can't control what my body is doing anymore. Uh, but I think Dr. Rothenstein has picked that up fairly quickly and he knows I need to have a plan. I need to be in control as much as I can be. She went on that treatment and uh, the treatment worked really well for her and she was able to kind of break free of the chemotherapy side effects and go on this targeted therapy which really allowed her to live well, have a good quality of life, we're at the beginning of this transformational journey with comprehensive genomic profiling. As time goes on, I think we are evolving to a place where genomic profiling will be part of the routine when a patient gets diagnosed with cancer. I think I'm very lucky to be in this age where there is a lot of emphasis put on research and development. In addition to the wonderful medical care that I have received, I've really have, have, have had wonderful support from my family. It's very important that we, we talk about it and explain what's happening to us.